G'day. Today in the warehouse, we're gonna do a quick comparison between the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT and the Mickey Thompson Baja Legend EXP. And why are we doing this, you might ask? It's because I got the EXP into the warehouse and I was like, hang on, isn't that pretty similar to, similar to the Baja Boss? But if you look closely, there is actually some differences between these tires. And so if you think about it, both of these are aggressive all-terrain tires and they've both got significant uh, gaps in their shoulders. But um, Mickey Thompson themselves say that the Baja Legend EXP is actually a premium tire that's aimed at those who are going off-road but not expecting proper massive off-road durability. So that's where this is a two-ply sidewall tire, while the uh, Baja Boss AT is a three-ply sidewall tire. And there's some other differences in here as well um, that mean that the uh, Legend EXP is actually going to be a more comfortable tire on the road while the Baja Boss AT, you're probably looking at it being a little bit less comfortable, but again, it's that trade-off for durability off-road. So to look into it a bit, it's interesting actually because the, the shoulder lugs in the EXP are actually wider than what you're looking at with the Baja Boss. And so we'll slip in a little nose tread depth gauge here um, for you. Um, but the center blocks, like the whole tread pattern of the Baja Boss has actually got some interestingness to it too, too because these shoulder blocks are not necessarily all one width uh, in terms of the gaps between them. And while the um, EXP is perhaps a little bit more consistent in their width between the blocks, the Baja Boss AT is also uh, an asymmetric tire which means you can only run it uh, one direction. Um, both, both of them have a good, like a, sort of a, a high number of tread face plies as well. So both of them are between six and 12, but the Baja Boss will actually have um, on average 10 to 12 face pliers, depending on the size you choose, whereas the EXP has around about 10. So again, just that little bit more bit of toughness on the Baja Boss AT, but that makes the EXP a little bit more comfortable. Some other little things to note about these two tyres, because there is more tread plies and um, more sidewall plies in the Baja Boss AT, there is a weight penalty for that. Um, so in the 26565 R17 size, the Baja Boss AT is 25.8 kilos, which this is the 295, and it's definitely got some heft to it. There's a truck. It's been really noisy today, so if you're watching the video from today, like we're doing four videos today, and you see it changing a lot, it's not because I'm screwing up, it's because there's so much traffic and airplanes and helicopters and jets. I can't handle it anymore. Anyway, back to these guys. So, this one in the 26565 R17 is 25.8 kilos, while the EXP in that same size is 22.69 kilos. So, What's that? That's 3.2 kilos of weight penalty for the Baja Boss AT, um, which is actually gonna to contribute to your fuel economy when you get these tires. So these, despite their look, should be a more economic tire to run in the long term than the Baja Boss AT. Um, the Baja Boss AT is actually three peak mountain snowflake rated as well, uh, whereas the EXP is not three peak mountain snowflake rated. And that means that in temperatures that are freezing and below, the rubber will stay more conformable on these tyres than on these tyres. Not a replacement for proper winter tyres, but in certain areas, um, if you're going up to the snow or certain areas in the States or you know, Europe or wherever, um, these will be a reasonably appropriate tyre for year round usage. One of the really interesting things to note about these tyres as well is the difference in the siping. And siping's pretty key here because basically sipes give you all these extra edges, all these extra corners on which the tyre can grip the road. So if you're thinking about it as, you know, as you're sort of shearing your fingers down here, you can feel the little edges bite into your fingers. And so if you think about that in terms of on a wet road or on snow or ice or whatever, then this tyre has a whole bunch of these uh, sipes that go across the tyre uh, and they're going to give you a whole bunch more biting edges. Whereas if you look at the uh, Legend EXP, 
then it's got a whole bunch of little seagulls in there that, aren't, that don't actually go across, across the whole block. So they will give you a little bit of extra biting capacity, but they're not the same cross tread pattern sipes that the Baja Boss uh, AT has. So that's one of the reasons why this tyre has that um, three peak mountain snowflake rating, uh, which the EXP doesn't. Um, I know that this tyre, and I've currently got a set of these on my car at the moment, on my ute, and it saved my bum hole in, uh, in an icy situation the other day, and we'll talk about that more in the uh, long term test. Um, but I am thankful that these have so many sipes. Chris is currently testing these on his Land Cruiser 300 series and he's actually stoked with them as well. So for my money, I would like to see, I would probably buy the tyre with more sipes. But again, as per what, the rest of what I've said in this video, um, it's kind of horses for courses and choose the tyre that's going to suit your vehicle the best. Um, these are an asymmetric tread pattern, while these are a standard symmetric tread pattern. Um, oh, tread depth. That's an interesting one. So these ones, they're between 12.7 and 14.5 mil of tread depth. Whereas the Baja uh, Legend EXP, you would think, given that it's the premium on-road on -road version, uh, would have less, but it's actually got 14.6 mil of tread depth. So one mil more tread, oh sorry, 0.1 mil more tread than what you'll see on this thing. So should get a fair bit of tread life out of these. I find the sidewalls interesting. So you can sort of see here that the Baja Boss has these huge aggressive side biters, which I think are some of the most aggressive side biters that we actually have here in the warehouse. Um, and the EXP definitely has some sidewalls, some sidewall protection, but they're not as ridiculously over the top uh, as the Baja Boss AT is. Um, so again, you will get protection for damage from the EXP, but the Baja Boss will actually give you some proper traction for digging out of holes. Um, but I've got these on my car at the moment, and I noticed that even in the car parks, um, just the extra little bit of side biter on the side of the tyres sort of makes the tyre seem a whole bunch wider, which means that if you're spending most of your time driving around town or you know, getting in and out of the car or whatever, um, the perceived extra width on the Baja Boss AT is going to be different to, different to the perceived width of the uh, EXP. So again, toss-ups there. I'm not saying one is better than the other. There really are for different angles of the market. So you know, they're, they're for the aggressive all-terrain market, but they're for the aggressive all-terrain market that wants to go hardcore off-road, so hardcore uh, mountain goat type, type thing, and for the aggressive all-terrain market that wants the look but they still want the comfort that you'll get from a two-ply sidewall tyre, um, but they still want to be able to go off-road and you know, go get stuck in a bog or whatever, um, but perhaps not do it uh, 365 days of the year. The other aspect is that the EXP actually has 60% of the range, the size range actually has white sidewall writing, um, whilst the Baja Boss has this raised lettering. Um, the raised lettering's cool, but being the show pony I am, I like the white sidewall red lettering. Um, Chris is actually running a set of these on his uh, Land Cruiser 300, and um, it was a bit too chicken to put the white sidewall writing on the, on the outside, whereas I'm a big fan of it, so I might even see if I can steal his car and go switch him around and see if he notices. That's the differences, or some of the differences, between the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT and the Mickey Thompson Baja Legend EXP. Um, and the other aspect is that these are a 50-50, so 50% on-road, 50% off-road, whereas they've upped that slightly 60% on-road, 40% off-road for the EXP. And that's where you've probably watched this whole thing and you're like, oh, well, these are for you know, people who don't like going off-road, but <laughs> they're still a serious off-road tyre um, for people who like doing serious off-roading stuff, um, but they do have some of those changes from something like the Baja Boss AT um, that will make them more comfortable, more tractable, that sort of thing for day-to-day -day life. Um, but they still look fantastic in the shopping mall. If I've missed anything or if there's, uh, or if I made a comment that was a bit ridiculous, make sure you comment about it in the, in the comments. I'm always up for some uh, elegant chats around what we've talked about here. Um, again, let me know if you've used either of these tyres and particularly 
Give these a review because these are both relatively new onto the market. The EXP is brand new and the Baja Boss AT is new in the last six to 12 months. So make sure you leave a review for them after you've had at least you know, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 Ks on them. So let other people know what you think about them. Got a long-term review coming out for both of these sometime soon as well. I'm about <clears throat> halfway through my long-term review on these and Chris is just starting on these. So um, maybe we could even compare notes at the end of it. Although they are on different cars. Mine's on a ute. His is on a minivan. So we'll see how they turn up. Anyway, that's the differences between these two tyres. Thanks for tuning in. Uh -huh.